HDB in stereo. This is my second video. In my first video, you saw me connect up my uh, DVAP. And uh, after much trouble with my service providers and some driver issues, I got it on the air. Um, since then, I've discovered that there are other ways to connect to the different reflectors, X reflectors and DCS reflectors, um, other than using the DVAP. Or using the DVAP, but with different software. Uh, also, I purchased one of these little guys, the uh, DV4 Mini. Um, nice little uh, rig. I got this specifically because I acquired a new radio, which I which I highly recommend, the uh, Titera MD380. And with this and this, I can connect up to. D star, uh, DMR reflectors, DMR plus reflectors, and Grandmaster reflectors. So it opens up a whole new world of amateur radio for me. So uh, in the last one, I showed you how I set up a little portable station, which I have used successfully for many months since that video was made. Um, now, and I also acquired a little piece of equipment at my local electronics shop called a Raspberry Pi. And I'm sure you're all familiar with the Raspberry Pi. But in case you're not, <coughs> I'll show you a little station I've built with. Now this is the original idea I had, which has the DVAP, the, the 4G router from wind, and uh, the DVAP on the top. Now the Raspberry Pi is a little computer. The computer that controls the software that runs the DVAP. And it, uh, it's a little program that I uh, got from uh, a uh, company in, in Holland. And basically, it's called a DV repeater, a digital voice repeater. And it also, uh, they also wrote a little uh, control program with it called the uh, IRC DDB um, software package, which stores all the repeater addresses, I mean all the reflector addresses, the RF reflector addresses, all the XRF reflector addresses, all the DCS reflector addresses, and all the CCS reflector addresses. So basically it'll connect up to anything. Um, so that runs on software which is inside this Raspberry Pi. Uh, I'll do another video later on to show you that software. Um, I have the different operating programs that run it. This is, a D, this is a Raspberry Pi image which runs the D-Star and DVAP uh, option that I have. I have inside now a different one. It is the software <coughs> that allows me to run the DV4 Mini. Okay. Let me just uh, get something up there. So, switch them out because I don't want to put a lot of a lot of uh, strain on this connector. So here's a I'll borrow the connector from my DVAP. I'm not going to be using the DVAP in this video demonstration, so I'll leave it without an antenna. I could hook this antenna up or the one from my MD3 they're all interchangeable. Okay, so what we have basically is a computer in the form of the Raspberry Pi. We have the internet connection, the, uh, the uh, wind mobile 4G or 3G uh, 4G router, which is this white box underneath, and the, uh, the, the 4G stick. The reason I don't just put the stick into the Raspberry Pi is because it takes an awful lot of power to power this, uh, this uh, 4G dongle. And I also like to use it with my tablet. That is the uh, 4G stick. So using putting it into a 4G router, I, I'm able to connect up to this wirelessly. And then I connect up to this with wires, because I found it's really tough to set it up wirelessly. Um, because oftentimes the 
press rates, I will forget what the, uh, the, uh, the address and password is and all that for the internet. So this, hooking it up to the wire, solves that problem and gives me some uh, portability for my tablet and my phone. Okay, so let's, let's have a look at the uh, basic components. The E3HDB again. Here we have the tablet I used in my last video that controlled the DVAP, this red thing. And that was how I got on the air. This is not the best solution because it's very power intensive. Uh, usually tablets and laptops use a lot of power and don't last that long. So since then, as I said, I picked up the Raspberry Pi, the uh, 4G router, and a new radio, and, and a DV4 Mini. So I'm going to use the DV4 Mini, but I could just as easily use the DVAP, depending on which way I want to go. Um, so we'll use the DV4 uh, Mini because I can show you both uh, systems on it. I also have the laptop because I can uh, VNC into the Raspberry Pi to allow me to control it, as the DV4 Mini uh, does not uh, work very well with, tuck with uh, DTMF and, and uh, DMR for some unknown reason. It doesn't work at all with DTMF, at least not from what I understand. So let's start by assembling the station. This is full ready. This is it ready for transportation. Basically, I have two cases that I can use to transport it. But uh, a little laptop case. And I showed you last time is it's just not big enough for the task. So I got I purchased this incredibly low down, less than ten dollars. So basically, I'm sure you can see that. Yeah. So uh, basically all of this goes into this case with lots of room to spare. And I can alternately take my laptop if I want to carry the weight. All of this together, including the, I forgot to mention, the uh, battery. This is a 10,700 milliamp hour battery uh, backup for your, for your tablets or your cell phones, your smartphones. It's perfect for the, I can run my station all day long on this. And that doesn't include the tablet, just the, just the basic system. The tablet again is optional. So we'll take that out for a moment. I can just as easily control the station with my cell phone. Okay, <clears throat> so let's assume I've unpacked everything. First thing I do is I take my USB cables, one USB micro that goes in the 2 amp side and one USB mini goes in the 1 amp side and remember I mentioned earlier that uh, running the DVAP and the, and, the, and the tablet and all that was very power intensive although it did give me at least two hours with the little tiny battery I just and this would power it for all day so again to recap Raspberry Pi 4G router 4G stick DVAP, which I'm not using for the for the uh, demonstration, but it's there just because you can see that I can use either way. The DVAP, of course, only does D-Star. Okay, so what we do is we take the DVAP dongle and we plug it into one of the USB ports. Then we power up the router. Last time I made a video, the internet crapped out just as I was about to do the demo. Okay, so that's going to fire up the it's going to fire up the uh, the Wind Mobile 3 4G stick, and eventually that'll come online. Now we take the the um, USB micro and we connect it to the Raspberry Pi. And it's in the process of loading a program that will control the uh, DV4 Mini. For those of you that aren't familiar with the uh, DV4 Mini and the DVAPs and all the other 
dongles that are out there. Uh, what that does is give us our own uh, basic repeater that we can use to connect to the internet through the 4G sticks and that allows us to connect up to reflectors. Okay. The downside of this is that uh, it's not easily controlled. Okay, now, I can actually run the software for the DV4 Mini on this tablet, but like I say, it's rather power intensive, so I'm going to let it run on the, the uh, Raspberry Pi. Now, to connect to the Raspberry Pi, we will use a program called BNC. Okay, I guess I'm not prepared as I thought I was. I swore I had BNC on here, but I don't. So, we go to backup plan B, which is my cell phone. Okay, I have the Raspberry Pi information. Make sure I'm connected to the... Four G router, and I'm not. So. Now, you can look on the other window over here and see if you're connected. It usually connects itself, and it is. I'm not going to go into the, the the dynamics of setting up the Titer. It, that would be a, a process of another video, and there's much better videos than I can make out there now. So the DV4, I have the special um, talk group of DV4 Mini. It's on talk group nine. Slot 2, for those of you that are BMR aficionaries. And if you watch the screen here, when I transmit, watch the bottom of the screen here. Is it okay? That means it's receiving. Okay. So, let's try a little QSO. Now this is VE3 HTV in Toronto. Is there anybody around that can give me a quick radio check? Over. The green light means it's receiving on the DV4 Mini. And if anybody goes back. Okay, thank you very much. I just uh, set up a little portable DVD, uh, D DMR uh, station with my uh, Raspberry Pi and DV4 Mini, and I'm just making a quick video of how it works. And uh, you sound very good. The name here is Dave, the E3HTB. Over. Uh, don't forget to find and trust 